So I'm curious when you say that um, Archangel Michael paid you a visit, because when people pay each other a visit, I'm thinking, you know, a, a person comes into the room and hello. And how is that like with an angel paying you a visit? Like, is it a physical experience uh, or is it something you see in a deep meditation? Well, Yannick, it was very, very real. And it was Archangel Gabriel. I was working under a sterile hood, under sterile conditions at, at work, working on a stem cell sample. And all of a sudden, I was in a different place that um, it was a round stone room. There was dirt on the floor. My brain said, how can this be? Um, there's not supposed to be dirt here. I was very, very disoriented and confused. And then in the, there was an open ceiling and Archangel Gabriel appeared. I recognized the angel because the angel had a trumpet. That's how I knew which angel it was because I didn't really know anything about archangels. And Gabriel spoke to me telepathically, very clear, very loud, and said, your work is about to change. Uh, we are calling you to help human beings remember that they are God's divine children. They have forgotten. Now, you remember, this is over 30 years ago. And so there's lots of talk these days about how everyone's waking up. Well, you can imagine that people were extra sleepy then, certainly Belinda was. So that's how that's how it happened. And again, um, the room was ancient and I could smell the, the old air. Um, and then once I had gotten the message from Gabriel and I thought I had been gone for hours, I looked at my watch and not even a minute had gone by and I was back in the lab, uh, still holding my sample, uh, but my whole body was shaking. It, 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 I was, what just happened to me? What happened? And that's how it began. Oh, wow. Uh, so what happened from there? How did you integrate such an experience? Well, it took a little time. So the next angel that paid me a visit was Archangel Michael. And this time I was home uh, and I wasn't really meditating. I didn't exactly know what meditation was, but I was in a quiet space. And before my eyes, the room filled with blue wings with blue eyes. I don't know how to explain it. it. It was like millions of blue eyes looking at me with these beautiful wings. And again, a telepathic voice clears anything that said, I am Michael. And I'm here to help you feel the truth. So that was Michael. And then it was maybe a month or two after that, that I met the rest of the angels. I was at a workshop that a friend invited me to go to on Meet Your Guardian Angels. And I thought, well, I've met two angels. Maybe there's another guardian angel for me. And we were told that it would take 90 minutes and you would meet one to two angels. And as soon as I closed my eyes, uh, there was a circle of 12 big angels. I mean, they were massive. And I could recognize Gabriel with the horn and Archangel Michael. And then there were 10 others that they will tell you their number is symbolic. It actually means moving on a sacred spiral of evolution, waking up. And um, that, as I've shared before, they help all of us. But that is my original introduction to the 12 archangels. And I thought I was crazy. It took a little while to surrender, which they said it would. They said I would resist, and I did. I had two masters in science. You know, I was invested in my career. So, but I did surrender. 
and I learn to ask them to, for help for everything. All right. So for everybody watching, we've had some technical difficulties. So now we've just moved over to a new software. Uh, but we're going to make this happen because I feel like this is a very important conversation. Um, these 12 archangels, I'm, I'm curious. Okay. So what is the difference between an archangel and a guardian angel or an angel of death, like other types of angels, for instance? The way that the 12 archangels explain this, Janneke, is that they say that angels have different job assignments. That's the easiest way to understand it. From their perspective, they do not believe in uh, what many of us or human beings think that there's a hierarchy of angels, that some are more powerful than others. They say, no, that's a human uh, creation, that where they exist is oneness. They exist in, um, in the space that there is just love and there is only love. So there's no difference in power and they work with the power of love. So what archangels do is they help to build bridges. They help, uh, they help to create schoolroom earth and Gaia is one of the 12 archangels and that they help to build a bridge, which is, they say is what arc actually means to connect the head and the heart, the ego and the soul, and that that's what they do, is they help make that connection. Their role on schoolroom earth is to help human beings to remember that we come from divine oneness. We come from the central sun, creator, mother, father, God, and that that's their role. Where guardian angels, their role is that they travel with a soul in every incarnation on schoolroom earth to also help with that soul's education and experiences and to help that soul through their ego to remember to ask for help. And so then there are fairies, which you know, are involved in creation and certainly helping us be creative. And there are Deva angels that can help with help with engineering and technology and help with building and design. So there's many, many, many different kinds of angels. The thing that matters is to let them help us wow, do they make life so much easier when we acknowledge that they're real and that their job is to help us. And they're always with us, whether we call on them or not, but asking for their help definitely makes a difference. So it seems like we have a team of helpers, actually. Uh, I, I'm curious about that guardian angel. Um, so you say we all have a guardian angel. Is that just for this lifetime? Or is that guardian angel following that soul for many lifetimes, for instance? The way that the, that the 12 archangels explain it is that your soul, which can have many, many, many incarnations on schoolroom earth, and so many, many egos and experiences, has a team of guardian angels that can expand and can, I would say, transform depending on what you need. What we can, what can be a bit challenging for us to understand is that angels work with sound. This is the divine feminine aspect of creator. So they, they work with emotion. They also work with thought, but they very much work with sound because from their perspective, sound is what moves a human being forward. It moves us emotionally. And so here's the point, is that when we need more angels, they multiply, just like turning up the volume 
on your, you know, your music that you're listening to, or you turn up the volume on your phone or, or on your computer, that that's what angels do is they amp up the volume. And so that's why it feels from our perspective that sometimes we all have the guardian angel of Michael or many of us do or how how is that possible for angels to have the same name and be in so many different places well they are made of the energy of love and that's what love does it goes where it's needed to watch the full video click the link below and i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel